Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Go, go. Eight. Out of the gun, Newton. And his first pass is incomplete. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Great, great, great. Gun, gun, gun. 20. Great, great. Check, 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 check. Great, great. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. From the gun, here's Newton. And got his man complete! And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Give him 30 yards there. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I say the staff is up in the booth watching the game. They may want to file that one away. See how fast the free safety closed to make that play? Might want to check into a throw the next time. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Buying time to his left. Pass incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw is Newton. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over. Out of bounds. The first red zone opportunity for the Panthers thus far. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And it stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. keeper and it'll be second down and this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz it wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers freed up the d lineman to make the play 
On the ground, McCaffrey. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Gano the extra point. And we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback as that set. over the end line and the Titans getting set to go and they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone and just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive when you scored points it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there
Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. The Titans on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 11. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Trying to force it to his tight end walker, and it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowler, Luke Kinkley, that picks it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep. And this is caught inside the five. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Well, there's simply no sense in wasting a great catch like that on a short game. Get downfield like you just <laughs> did there and use it up that way. No dink and dunk. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gauden with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. They begin with Henry, and an alley to run, and he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. Try to escape the shadow of their goalpost. That helped. Ten yards. First down. So a little more space to operate now. First and ten from right around the 12. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, speed. I mean, can fly as well. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. This is Henry, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans, and that'll set them back five. 
And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now Mariota. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions. And here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield. He was standing in the pocket. But just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Third and long here for Mariota. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Mariota had an 87-yard run as a rookie. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. A first down carry for Henry. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Julius Peppers in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And he fires one, but incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Well, the drive started the shadow of their own goalpost all the way back at the two. Pretty nice job of getting downfield and at least getting three. Agreed on that one. A real nice job because really their goal was to get out of the shadows of those goalposts and give themselves a little bit of room to help out their defense. Instead, they got three points out of it. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Bringing him down defensively, Jayon Brown. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Sliding out of the pocket. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They go play action here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. They went right back to him there, figuring one big play deserves another. You think maybe he called for it and said, hey, give me the ball again? I think a lot of people operate under the whole idea of if they haven't stopped it, go until they do. You go right back at a guy because maybe his confidence might not be as high. In this case, he responded well. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Newton now to throw. 
They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. So a minute 56 to play in this first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. On first and 10, Newton. Dancing to his left. And that's off the mark, incomplete. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Second and 10, Newton again. Left side by Funches. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Newton finding Funches for the Panther first down. Hey, hey. 20. Gun, gun. Right to the three. Now Newton on first down. And avoids the contact by sliding. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey, and he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half, and his guys are able to strike for six. And he'll bang that one through. Captain Zero out now as he'll kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Titans now. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. And maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. One, one, one. Mariota on first down. His throw incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Throwing again, Mariota on second and ten. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ross Cockrell. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. for Newton. Flush to his right. And that'll be incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Hey, hey get right down. Get right there. Throwing again. Newton. And this is caught. It's Greg Olson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Newton on first down. 
Taking a shot for Samuel. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Curtis Samuel, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. To throw again. Newton being chased out left. Now he's going to let it go deep left. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Final play of the half here. Mariota eluding the pressure right. Uncorks one for Davis. And this one is incomplete. We have hit half. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter. Here we go. All right, coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. Now he'll let it go deep over the middle. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Jarrell Casey able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of a yard. Throwing on third down, Newton. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. 
You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant it a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Here we go. Now let's see how yeah, the offense 20. still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. They will go for it. Now Newton. Fighting his way through contact. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. On first down, Newton. Now he'll let it go deep left. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. He got 29 yards that time. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there, and if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Play action, it's Newton. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey, and he's gonna be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? 20. A shotgun snap for Newton. Forced out to his left. Looking for the tight end, Olsen, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. First possession in the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent. of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. One, one, one! Pass! One, one! One, one! Following the interception here, Mariota. And that is incomplete here. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And he finally goes out of bounds across the opposite 40. It's a big run that time by Henry. 54 yards. So a slight improvement in field position, you might say, from inside their own 10 to this as they come up on first down. Right back to him on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Now Mariota over the middle to Smith. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Throwing is Mariota. And he locates Walker complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. They get it to him running left. They stop short. Down at the one. Had the great move, but couldn't get it all the way home. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry taking it in from a yard out. And the Titans are able to make this a close game again. Extra point put through by Suckup. And it's now 21-17. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Carolina getting set to take the field. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. On first down, it's Newton. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. A big play there. 46 yards. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it, and I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been, but it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make is that they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their 25-yard line. One, one, one. One, one. One, one. Working out of the gun, Mariota flushed out right. Walker with a grab, left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Sometimes it's designed, but sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. Now, that play is able to get on the run and they're still accurate throwing the football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And that's a tough throw for a right-handed quarterback rolling out to his left and trying to get the ball to a receiver. We've seen all those drills where they're trying to get the shoulders square and pointed towards the target downfield. The second down throw here for Mariota. And now running right through him. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. 
from the shotgun. It's Mariota. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Julius Peppers getting him once again. His third sack of the afternoon. Second down, Mariota. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. Now Mariota, the Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Julius Peppers, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. But they can thank their defense for another stop. And now look at the score, where they've got the football. They're looking pretty good. They're looking excellent because now you're thinking to yourself, let's just take some time off the clock. Work it down. And, of course, you put another touchdown on the board, you can pretty much say bye-bye to this one. Play calling here can be a little bit more conservative because of the lead. A little bit more conservative. The biggest thing, everyone understands how to get the ball downfield and how to stay in bounds and make sure the clock keeps running. Here's Newton. And the tight end Olsen right side. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, and he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. D.J. Moore from 21 yards away, and the Panthers add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused, it caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Throwing again, Mariota on second and ten. Goes underneath for Henry. Yeah, he's going to get this deep on a Carolina side of the field. A big play there on the catch and run. 66 yards. Defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at the 33 yard line. Hey, hey. Now, following the interception, here's Newton. Buying time to his left. 
And that's incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33 yard line. to the air Newton on second down he's going to launch this thing way down feet and that's caught inside the 30 and they do finally get him but he takes it to the 25 still throwing the football here even with the big lead yeah I know you and I came up in a different era and we think about sportsmanship and all that other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers that's all they care about right now On first and ten, Newton. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Throwing is Newton. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off by Wesley Woodyard. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. So they get the takeaway, but that's just step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can take it away again. Yeah, still three-score game, though, fourth quarter. Mariota gives to Henry. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Mariota. And incomplete here on third down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Mariota. And it is incomplete. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Panthers will get the football back. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down and now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And his pass incomplete. Well, to say that this has not been his game is probably a big understatement. I mean, he is all over the place. Mechanics are off, not accurate, except if you're playing on defense because they picked off a good number of passes. Yeah, all the INTs, but they're throwing it off his back foot. Pressure coming, just chucking it downfield. He can't do that right now. No, you can't do that at all. And I think one of the hardest things for a guy having a day like this one is to find a way to just kind of get out of it, kind of get yourself back to neutral. Because what you try and do is make even more spectacular plays to make up for it, and it usually leads to more bad ones. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Now Newton. Taking a shot for Samuel. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Yeah, yeah. 
Newton on third down. And he finds a man. It's Olsen. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Newton to Olsen there for a Carolina first down. Now a first down throw for Newton. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. And they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. Only people are really happy about those picks. Any fantasy team that has this defense. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing Mariota. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now Mariota. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Captain Mutterland. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage. They've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Stepping up, and he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Cam Newton taking it in. And the Panthers use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. Partner, that type of a lead, and they're going to fake it from the 15 to try and pick up a two-point play instead of kicking it through the post. Come on, man. Put that in mothballs. Come on. Come on. Don't do that. Put that in mothballs. Yeah, huh? preserve that for it. That's, a, that's an ancient just... relic, faking it. You, you, I couldn't understand. You, you want to rub it in a little. You fake it when you snapped it from the three. But from the 15, mothball that bad boy, just like my grandmother had. Yeah, in my, her attic, the my stuff grandmother she used to did preserve. the same. It smelled yeah, terrible. Same. <laughs> they go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. On second down, Mariota again. And they get to Mariota here as he's dropped on the sack. Julius Peppers in there yet again. My goodness, make it five sacks for him now in this one game alone. Mariota will need a big play after the sack as the Titans come up one, third and one, long. One. One, one, one. One, one. One, one. One, one. From the gun, Mariota escaping the pressure right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he's able to get up here to the 26. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys...
this is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be between the Cleveland Browns 